Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Feed Milk. And today I am going to show you how to monitor the data coming and going from your Windows computers to the internet or to your local area. But um, why would you want to do this? And, and by the way, this is with a free piece of software called Network. But um, why would you want to do this? Well, let me give you my real world example. Unfortunately, in the United States, which is where I live, and unfortunately in the United States, we are somewhat behind the times and getting behind the times in the free internet deal that we don't have free internet here. And it seems like a lot of the rest of the world is getting to the point where they're getting free internet. Um, there's good and bad things about that. I'm not going to discuss that in this video. But um, in my area, like many other areas in the United States and also many other areas around the world, I have only two internet providers in my area. One of them is so horrible when I had them, about 90% of the time the internet was dial up. The rest of the time I didn't have internet. And, um, and that's just how it was. So it's either this internet provider I'm currently with or no internet provider. And, um, and, and the thing with it is apparently out of nowhere, the internet provider said you have a 250 gigabyte per month limit. That might sound high, but for the average person it might be. But um, for me, it's not because you got to keep in mind, what do I do? I'm in an IT profession, and um, and that means I actually download, upload, and all the other stuff. Not so much with YouTube, but with most other stuff. But um, with this in mind, I am around almost in 400 gigabytes, and um, per, per month, or, or uh, right now for this month, and it's about halfway through, and they want to charge a normal leg. For every 50 megabytes, I think it's tw uh, they want to charge an extra $25, and that's I'm gonna get this delegated somewhere else. I'm not worried about that, but the one thing I am worried is why is my gigabyte so high? Because when I went on a trip uh, not too long ago, and I was completely away from the house, I remote connected in that same day. 14 gigabytes went across my network. And I don't think I use 14 gigabytes worth of stuff. So was it my computer? Was it satellite boxes? Was it someone tapping into the internet? What exactly was it? And I'm, I'm trying to figure that one out by doing this. So anyways, as far as things goes, again, this is uh, a free piece of software. And I will talk a little bit more about this after the quick advertisement, which will show you how to support me and that way I can buy better equipment and make better hacking and other type of videos for you guys. So please feel free to support me there. Thanks for sticking around during this transition. Now, if you want to help me out at all, either by financial or other means, then feel free to click the Patreon button to go to my Patreon campaign and that way you can donate there and check out what I plan to do with money. Or you can click the PayPal button and you can donate there. You can either donate on time there or do a monthly recurrence. And lastly, if you don't want to help out with money either because you just don't have it or whatever it is, then feel free to share this video and share my other videos and please check out the top button to go to my main channel. But anyways, hope that you like this video and let's bring you back to the actual video. Welcome back. Now before I forget, if you are installing this on Windows 8 or later, you need to install one P cap and I'll leave the name of that in the description so you can check again that's one P cap and uh, I'll again with the name all you have to do is copy and paste the name from the description into the search of 
here or here and a uninstaller should come up for wimpy cap and just hit uninstall and um, after you uninstall it install this and um, you can have all the settings on if you want for the net network but um, once you have it installed it doesn't matter what operating system you have you need to restart your system then once you're back up you should be able to use it once it's up and running what you can do is go down to the tab go to properties go to toolbars and let's uncheck that to show you real quick as you see there it's gone let's check it again second or two and it's back simple as that the this is pretty much besides the chart part it's acting the same as here so you can right click either one and you're going to get the same results double click it and uh, same thing but as far as this goes <coughs> you have the graph this is pretty good for here and now type of data now uh, one thing you're going to find on a lot of things like the task manager and everything else is this going to give you a second by second or real time type of data and the problem is it doesn't store data this is where this side area comes in handy because you can see it and this if you have it set up right it will reset every day and and everything this might look a little bit different from yours you can fix the colors within the settings just go here and fix the colors make sure you uncheck that so as far as um, some of the other things let's go down to the quota real quick so with the quota if in my case again where I have a limitation of 250 gigabytes I got multiple items on my area so I want to save my stuff I um, I'm giving myself a hundred gigabytes to play with uh, really I'm probably not going to hit that at times other times I'm probably easily going to hit it and how you set this up is go to set up you can say how often do you want to do this so for example do you want to use the hundred gigabytes per month weekday whatever all traffic uh, whatever and then flat rate or on off peaks so on off peaks makes sense for dial up and it seems like this software is made mostly for dial up but uh, it, it kind of makes sense for, um, for for cable and DSL so anyways just set, set the um, how long you want this to last if you want it to be in gigabytes then set the amount so if I want 50 gigabytes I just put 50 here since I want 100 I put 100 it should show up here so what it will say is per day you can use X amount and um, if you use X amount so 80% for me then a message comes up and um, it says you're getting close to whatever your allowance is and um, that, that's pretty cool now as far as the email stuff you can set that up to I suggest that you do that so if you're using something like a server or something and you don't want it to use a lot of a lot of stuff then you can probably set up an email and that way it emails you if it's getting there so let's go into the speed real quick I don't really see too much of a point of this it just shows the speed uh, there's not too much to it but the usage report is very important again I'm not sure if it's a rogue app I doubt it especially since I played with this for a couple hours but I'm not sure if it's a rogue app a rogue computer or what exactly it is that's causing the mass amount of gigs being used so what I can do here is go to applications and it says 
the application type words location how much they receive sent in total and also in comparison with everything else what is the percentage that's using in your data so for here like chrome we can see it says 176 megabytes receive uh, four point four point eight yeah four point eight seven cent does it seem like a lot and total um, 181 megabytes and um, then we got 63 percent out of all this other stuff so let me actually refresh that real quick so after refreshing it and uh, doing some stuff on Chrome you have to obviously hit the refresh button but um, you can see the uh, change and now it says 190 in total so it's, it's pretty simple and it's pretty easy uh, you're going to find mostly your stuff is is uh, download and says send out this is good if you see a lot more sent out and it's not a server or whatever may you probably have a virus or some type of worm that's sending information out that's very very important and also by the way you can see on the charts and <coughs> where I um, went on YouTube for a second to trigger it so that, that's pretty important because if you see a high amount of download I won't worry too much but if you see a lot more going out you probably need to worry a little or start to worry a little so from here let's go to the hourly rates I'm, I'm not really sure where you don't find too much use into this uh, you might find something but I, I don't the dial up session I don't I don't have dial up I don't care about it the um, as far as this goes the uh, date to and from you can set up your custom date at a glance now one of the settings on the um, this application is pulled up real quick. You can synchronize usage data with other these programs uh, instances on the network. Now I don't know if that means uh, if if other computers on your network if if they are running this program will this communicate with them and everything or um, or what but if, if it means that then pretty much your stuff should show up here on uh, who's using what and who's using more of what uh, I'm trying out later on I, I don't have another computer with me right now so when I get something in front of me and be able to play with it I, I will try that in, in a bit but uh, I might not load anything up on here so as far as this goes we got a month week per day and um, you see the differences we got general and this shows stuff so let's go into the settings as you see in tools and everything else the settings uh, basically we have load at startup um, your your um, traffic icon display your uh, basically your traffic icon stuff over here do you want it to ignore the uh, your local area network um, I, I'll suggest marking yes and then go to the graph and um, you can play with this always on top of whatever and um, you got your colors your notification so again something comes up if it, it's five kicks within 24 hours it, it something like that comes up and then we have this it's it's uh up to you on how you want to set this up if you even want to it's kind of pointless so I, I won't worry too much about it but as far as down here we can see where your week uh, month starts and um, and this comes important for the um, the, the whatever we call it the quota 
And then we have the synchronized thing that I was talking about, dial up and so on. Let's go into tools. So we got trace root. We have ping. We can ping out, um, do a ping to us. We have netstat. If you watched my previous videos, you you know what this is. So, for for those of you who don't know, basically you can see if you have a virus on here or whatever. And I, I'm not going to talk too much about, in fact, I'm not going to talk about that at all. Just watch my previous videos on how to figure out if you have a virus with CMD. And lastly, we have connection monitor. And there you go. So that's, that's pretty much about it. Now, if you want to add anything to this or talk, talk anything about this or ask, have any questions about this on how to set up your own computer to monitor your own network as far as going to and from your computer itself, not the entire network itself, then feel free to leave a question down below. If you want to monitor your entire network with a device, which is possible, the problem is, is those devices, they're meant mostly for hotels, and they're $10,000. So you're just not going to get it. Uh, some routers, they do monitor per device, so that's something to keep an eye out for, especially uh, modified routers. But uh, f for the most part, most routers out there only, mo uh, only monitor all devices grouped in one, so the entire network. So that's pretty important to note. But again, if you got any questions, feel free to leave a question down below in the description. If you got any comments, leave that also below in the description. And uh, please like, please subscribe, and please share. Please feel free to donate to the Patreon campaign and the PayPal campaign. And please feel free to check out uh, techreviewsnup.com. And I hope you have a great day.